Hi, I'm Will Raisin, and today I want to take some time to talk to you about my shot selection for my pole fishing rigs. You can use Olivettes, but a lot of my fishing is done with slightly smaller floats whilst fishing in England. That way I can use shot. Now obviously some people think lead shot is lead shot. 8s, 9s, 10s, 11s and 12s. But as with anything, there's different quality. And a bad quality shot will lead to when you put it on the line, it won't be hanging straight. And again, it's all about presentation. Yes, your hook and your hook length's got to be right, but so is your shotting. And if the shot's all over the place with bad quality shot, your rig isn't going to settle the same, it's not going to look the same, and you're not going to be as happy. The catch rate will definitely fall. As far as the Olivettes are concerned, when I do use Olivettes, which is 0.8 floats and above, Anything less than a 0.8, three quarters of a gram and down, then I'll obviously use shot. The reason for this is quite simple. Anything above 0.8, when number eight's being the biggest shot you're legally allowed to use in England, obviously you need to use a lot more shot and it just looks a bit unwieldy and the bulk's too big and that's where the Olivettes come in. There's obviously two different types of Olivette. These, the inline which I favour, or the peg and rubber versions. I tend to steer clear of the peg and rubber purely because I've had it a few times when I did use these, I've lost a fish or my rig's got caught on a bush and I've just pulled it and the Olivet's pinged off. With the inline ones, definitely, they're on the line, they can't come off. Unless the actual line breaks, they can't come off. Like I say, the Drennan Polemaster ones are my number one choice. They're nice and small, they've got rubber situated through the middle, very user friendly and my number one choice. As far as shot are concerned, as with hooks and line, there's a massive amount on the market. And your shot choice is very, very important when you're making rigs up. There's nothing worse than taking time, sitting down, making your rigs up for the next day or, or, or your next match. And when you hold it up, the bulk's all at different angles and it's not sitting right. Not only doesn't it look right and you won't be confident, but it will definitely affect your bait presentation. The number one shot for me is the Balabeni shot. This is available from all good tackle shops. It's very well cut. It's not the cheapest, it's five pound a tub, but it hangs straight, it's very well cut. It's nice and accurate sizes, and you can put it on the line virtually anyhow, you don't have to line it up, but because the shot's so well cut, it'll actually line itself up. When you make a rig up and your bulk hangs absolutely dead straight, dead vertical when you hold it up, not only does it look better to you, but your bait presentation is gonna be spot on. That's available, eights, nines, tens, elevens, and twelves. Now one thing I do want to touch on, and it's something that you can see on this rig here that I've made, your bulk's nice and straight, but also I've got some tuning styles above. And what this enables me to do, when I'm making the float up at home, I shot it so the whole bristle and a tiny bit of the body showing. That's with the bulk shot or the staggered bulk, but that's actually achieved just with the lead shot. So the whole of the bristle and the body showing, a tiny bit of the body. What that enables me to do is to put some small style leads above the bulk and fine tune that flow all the way down. And again, it stands me in brilliant stead when I'm on the bank, if the light's bad or my float takes on a tiny bit of water, instead of having to take one of the shot off the bulk and put a smaller one on a lot of messing around, I can literally nip one of these tiny little styles off and that'll make my float stand up a tiny bit more. It's just about fine tuning. And for this, I tend to use the census half styles. Again, in the 12s or the 13s, these will make you be able to fine tune your float perfectly to a dimple. Using the shot to shot the float down to the whole bristle and a tiny bit of the body, and then just using the tiny style leads to bring it down to the very tip. And then when you're fishing, you can fine tune it at the drop of a hat, you can just ping one off. The others that I tend to use are the Preston Stots. Again, they're very user friendly. If you can't get the census half styles, these are very good as well. But what this enables you to do, the way that I go about making the rigs with the right shot and using style leads to fine tune the shotting, it just makes the rig very easy to use and you can alter how much float you've got out at the drop of a hat. And when we're, when we're in co competition fishing and you wanna, you you wanna maximize the amount of time you're actually fishing, little things like this can make a massive, massive difference.